Today on the way I got it figured, we're looking at the long awaited by me, Cobra Viper Officer and Vipers three pack, number 47 in the GI Joe classified series on the way I got it figured. The way I got it figured. What's up, figure fans? We got it figured back with another G.I. Joe classified review. This time we're looking at the Viper 3 pack. I got this pack on Amazon.com for Prime Day. So, you know, I, I saved a lot of money on it. Um, but, you know, when you get this pack from Amazon, there's a lot of problems and issues that come up. Um, so, you know, we're going to find out if I got a good one or if I got one of the ones that had errors. So, um, it's been a while since this pack came out. It came out last year. I'm just now getting it, um, here and there, you know, I would find something else to do with 90 bucks if I had it rather than buy this, but I desperately wanted this pack and um prime day delivered it to to me on a, with a good price um i just just never could find the, the 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 money you know um sure i get plenty of toys as you see you know from what i uh from what i review and everything but 90 dollars for a set of three it was just a lot um just based on the other things that I had to buy. And of course you still got to pay your bills. So it just, it just so worked out that I was able to get one. Um, I was afraid of getting one and there'd be like perfume bottles in there or Fortnite figures or all the other horrible stories that you hear. And then once you get past that, you got to get past the idea that there are errors, common errors that are found on these figures. Um, my one buddy got one with two left feet and, um, people have, uh, reported that, um, some of the ones with different skin tones are like mixed up. They don't have the right skin tone for the neck that they have for the arm and all that kind of stuff. So, um, we're going to get into that, but first we're going to do like we always do. We're going to go over the packaging. I'll go over the stats that the characters have and um talk about the vipers a little bit then we'll get them out we'll check them out make sure i got good ones and uh get you out of here with some final thoughts so starting with the packaging gi joe classified series number 47 cobra viper and vipers cobra viper officer and vipers um you got your nice artwork here of the Viper Squad leader and it's going to and Vipers. And um this artwork is actually the same as what's on the number twenty-two Viper or the um I think forty-six. I think it might even be forty-six. The Python Python Patrol Viper. Um you know, it's the same artwork just repurposed. And it looks cool, obviously, because it's bigger and it's got more vipers on it. So it looks cooler than those artworks merely because of, you know, the scope and size of it. On the top, you got number 47, your Cobra logo. On the side, you got your Cobra Viper with statistics. So your statistics on here are two infantry two small arms one hand to hand combat and one night fighting so these vipers are a little bit better than the 22 viper the cobra island viper because all of these uh categories are the same but they have a two infantry as opposed to a one so these guys are a little bit tougher than your average viper on the other side you've got your officer stats. So this guy's got a one command, one small weapons, one hand-to-hand -hand combat, and one sabotage. So he's about as good as a regular Viper, just not as good probably shooting. 
but um, you know, he's got he's got a little bit of skill there. On the back, you have the. Uh, I think this is actual actual product shots. These aren't renders. So you got your product shot of the, the Viper Squad with their blast effects. A huge, huge selling point for me for this pack. And then you have um, the three Vipers and their varying equipment, including the blast effects. This time they didn't put they didn't double up by putting the stats on the back of the box. But, uh, but they come with a, an array of weapons. I think that's pretty cool. And we're going to get them out and check them out. So let's do that. All right, so we've got our three Vipers out of the pack and everything uh, seemed to work pretty good with that. Um, so we got our Viper officer, and uh, he doesn't have two left feet or anything. Very happy to see that. He looks cool. He's a regular Viper. You know, there's nothing different about him um, other than his colors, paint, his, you know, his, his deco. And of course, this figure was a um, modern G.I. Joe figure. There was a Viper officer in uh, Pursuit of Cobra, I believe. And this is a larger version of that guy. Then we've got our two Vipers. Um, and of course, they're straight reproductions of the 22 Viper. Uh, but their colors seem to be a little muted uh, maybe I'll do a comparison actually I think in the Viper video I said I would do a comparison so I will do a comparison told you I would so I will that's my table that these guys don't want to so this is the lighter skinned Viper it's got the light skinned neck and I don't know how to take the braces off, and I really don't want to. Um, I'll try and see if I can reveal what's the correct thing under the on the camera. It's really tight. Let's see. Um, I know I've seen people take them off, and I don't really want to like go as far as pulling the hands off. They don't have strictly removable hands um like cobra commander or something like that yes they can come off but i don't want to go through the work of taking them off and i don't want to go through the work of putting them back on so i'm not going to do that so what i will do there we go if you you can kind of see he's got the caucasian arm there so he's all matched up. He also has correct feet. And I don't think everybody got the feet issue. My buddy Phil over at Crossfire Collectibles did. And of course he was um he was given another set. Uh they made it good for him, so he got a he got a set that was correct after that. And so then this would be the darker skinned Viper. And as you can see, he's got dark, darker skin neck. Here, we'll take the neckerchief off. There you go. there you can see he has dark skin on his arm so there you go I got a perfect set Whew, that's a sigh of relief um, 
you know, just the just just horror stories about the, about this set. But it appears, at least as far as the figures are concerned, I dodged that issue. Um, so I am not complaining. I'm not going to complain. There's nothing for me to complain about. I'm good. Uh, but between these these two vipers and the regular viper, you know, that's all the vipers that I'm gonna have. I'm not gonna, you know, get any more. So, um, so I'm pleased to report that uh, the figures are, at the very least, okay. Okay, so, um, their weapons come in the customary G.I. Joe Cobra bag, and then you got a series of cardboard holders that, um, that have their submachine guns, weird sci-fi guns, um, in them. So, you get the standard Viper rifle which I complained about in the Viper video. Um, there's not anything wrong with this 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 gun, uh, in my estimation. It's just that they could have made the original Viper rifle. I don't. I just. I, I, I'm probably never gonna understand why they didn't do that. It was a that that was a cool gun that the Viper came with, and I'll put a picture right here of what that gun looked like. Of course, it does have a magazine that is removable. It's, it's so tight in there that you think it doesn't come out, but it does. You get two of these as per the back of the box. And you get this uh, smaller cross type weapon. That seems more almost like the, you know, kind of like a newer version of the classic Viper weapon, but it's, it's still not the same. It's got a grenade launcher. It's got a scope. Um, so it does fit the bill of what the original Viper came with, but it's still not the same. It has a removable magazine. Then you got this smaller one that almost looks like the same gun that um outback comes with it's not but it but it kind of looks like it of course removable magazine and then you have this third weapon uh with a scoop and it's not exactly the same, I don't think. Yeah, it is. It's the same gun with a different scope as um as the one with the grenade launcher that, that's attached to it. But it's, it's it's pretty much the same weapon with a smaller barrel and a grenade launcher. Also, the magazine is removable. So that's cool. They come with really cool weapons. You can give them the same weapons. You can kind of ditch these if you want because they, they can all have a different weapon for the three pack. Uh, you know, keep the keep the other Viper with the original gun. And then they have um, an array of other things. So they have two pistols. The standard G.I. Joe Cobra high-tech, let's call it pistol. There are no uh, there are no holes for blast effects there. So, uh, you know, it's the same release as what was on the um, Viper and many other figures like Flint and Duke. They all came with the same gun. And then the, the Viper officer has a different pistol. This one does have a hole uh, for the blast effects. And that's his personal sidearm. 
And then of course, I did not show it, so I'll show that these have blast effect holes. I'm very, uh, very, very pleased with it so far. Love these weapons. Then you've got your goggles, gold helmets. So the officer has some gold lenses, and the other guys have the standard kind of silver lenses. Actually, I don't know. Maybe the Maybe the other Viper doesn't even have painted lenses. I'm not sure. I have to, well, we'll do that. We'll, we'll compare them in the comparison section. And then you have this uh, flash suppressor, muzzle suppressor that you can attach. So you can attach it to the one with the grenade launcher. You can attach it to this uh, smaller submachine gun. You can attach it to the long barrel rifle. You could even attach it to the standard Viper rifle. I like it, that's cool. It even goes in the pistol if you wanna do that. Probably needs to go somewhere because I don't think there's anywhere for storage for it. So somebody's got to get it, I guess. And then you've got the backpacks, which are identical for the two regular Vipers. And you've got the officer backpack. Same, but different paint application. And then you got the star of the show, in my opinion, my estimation, you've got the blast effects, which is weirdly what brought me to the dance. I paid $50 for blast effects. Now, I mean, I wanted the figures too, but they're like a bonus. So there you go. There's one of the blast effects there you get. You get this one which is like a multi-stage thing. You can stick more blast effect parts in there. Another one, long one, another long one. Kind of a flash, muzzle flash one. Uh, some post smoke after they finished filling the jewels with lead. We're trying to anyway. Another part of that multi stage one. Another part of the multi stage one. And another. This one's just like a blast. It's kind of cool. I like it. But, you know, it doesn't. It doesn't uh, go any further than that, I don't think. Either that or my failing eyes are missing it. It kind of looks like a hole. Let's see. Nope. I'm wrong. It has a hole. There you go. So you can play around with different muzzle flashes. Uh, you can... Um,
<laughs> stick it in there. We can stick it in the suppressor. They all they all have the same size port. So you can, you know, do whatever combination makes you feel good. So we're going to get these guys geared up and then I will do a comparison with the uh, other Vipers. All right, so we've got our Viper three pack geared up. Everybody's got a weapon. Everybody's got a blast effect. And there's, you know, a ton of different configurations you can do. Um, obviously, they look cooler, even cooler. Um, hooked up, decked out with their um, various weapons loadouts. So I wanted to use this guy to be spraying. He, you know, he's, 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 uh, he's kind of the, the wild one. He's not really aiming. He's spraying people. The officer went with the standard gun, boomstick. And this guy went with the grenade launcher slash submachine gun combination. And it's all, it's all very cool. I'm very happy, very pleased, very uh, fortunate to have gotten this set uh, that didn't have any errors. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring in the standard Viper, compare him uh, with uh, with the 3-pack Viper. So there you go. You can see his colors are a lot less muted there, a lot more cartoonish for lack of a better term, um, whereas these are definitely on the muted side. That's okay. Maybe he's a different rank than him or something. Who knows, right? You can do whatever you want in your mind. Your personal collection. He does not have painted goggles. As you can see. You do like this. Take these guys out for a minute. <laughs> but you know, it's exactly the same figure. There's no no difference, just the paint job. So there you go. I'm gonna move on to final thoughts. Alright, final thoughts on the Cobra Viper Officer and Vipers 3-pack, number 47, G.I. Joe Classified Series. I'm going to go out on a limb and go ahead and give this set a 10 out of 10. Um, I don't normally do that for repaints. I don't. Um, but they knocked it out of the park with this set. I mean, it's if you didn't have any Vipers, you probably don't need to get any Vipers, um, you know, if you didn't have any before you got this set, you don't you don't need to buy any. Um, these could have could just have been your vipers. You don't you don't really need any other vipers. Um, if you have more, I know a lot of GI Joe classified a lot of GI Joe classified collectors are army builders. They build massive armies of troops. But if you're somebody that just wants to have some guys out and you know. Enough of it, enough of them to make it look like you got some guys, you know. You need to go no further than this. Um, and for the value, you know, they're giving you extra weapons. They're giving you the blast effects. And I think that really uh, makes the difference. Um, even though these figures will, you know, go with the rest of the collection. 
uh, you already know the blast effects will be in every G.I. Joe classified video that I do going forward. So, um, 10 out of 10, you know, I don't, I don't care. Um, my, my set was perfect. Um, there's nothing wrong with any of the figures. Um, even if there was, even if there was something wrong with the figures, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't dock the set for it getting a factory error. I did not get any factory errors. That's very, very fortunate on my end. I'm very grateful for that. But, um, but yeah, man, pick it up if you can. Prime Day, you're still, they're still in stock right now. And if you don't have any or you want some more, you know, you got probably till around midnight uh, tonight as I shoot this video about uh, hour and a half uh, before midnight. So yeah, 10 out of 10. All right, guys, it's going to do it for this video. Uh, we got more G.I. Joe Classified coming up, um, including the uh, new wave of uh, figures. Um, I didn't get everything out of that wave, but I did get um, three of them, the newest guys. And then hopefully next week we'll have uh, Scrap Iron on deck. So yeah, so there's going to be lots of G.I. Joe Classified um, in the near future, uh, along with Marvel Legends, along with Transformers, along with all the things we normally um, go over. Okay, so if you are new to the channel, this is your first time, then I hope you've enjoyed the content and you would consider subscribing. Um, give me a like, leave a comment. How do you feel about this set? Did you get a good one? Um, you know, did you get a bad one? Hopefully you didn't. And uh, just what, how you feel about the blast effects, whatever. I love comments is basically what I'm saying. I respond to everyone. So um, if you can, do so. Leave a comment. If, you're, if you've been rocking with me for a while, uh, thank you so much. Um, I, I, you know, cherish every view that I get. And I'm always working to improve the videos. So um, I'm going to leave it there. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace. The way I got it figured.